creating fitness as a lifestyle. Hey everyone, I am Will Roberts of Iron Well Sports and Fitness, and it's my great pleasure to sit down with the owner and operator of 12 Stones Grass and Beef, and my father, Bill Roberts. Dad, thank you so much for being here. Thanks a lot, Bill. Well, good to be here. So most of you have heard of grass-fed organic beef, and maybe have a little bit of an idea of the benefits. Probably heard that it's one of the purest sources of protein on the planet, that it contains the good fats, or omega-3 fatty acids. It also contains naturally occurring creatine, which is crucial for muscle retention as we age. But there's some other components there that most people don't know about and are probably as important, if not more important, than those other aspects. So, Dad, maybe you can fill us in on some of that other stuff. Well, one of the things that we've really found with our grass-fed beef well is the mineralization. As you know, uh, most people are, or I shouldn't say most people, all people, are an electrical conduct. Uh, part of life is the electrical conductivity of life, yeah, the very essence of life, is, is electrical. And to have a, a completed circuit, you have to have all the components of that circuit. And that involves everything from nerves to structure in the tissues, etc., etc. And the composition of that is not only uh, protein and fats, etc., etc., but it's minerals. And minerals are extremely important not only to have uh, adequate but in the right proportions. And one of the things we've found with grass-fed beef is because of the, the, the food they eat and the, the closeness to the soils that they are, they have a, a high mineral profile. In fact, a good grass-fed beef has 92 minerals. And 92 minerals just so happens to be what humans need and uh, is the, uh, the completion of a mineral requirement. One of the things that we've found also that has been kind of an underlying theme in conventional beef, it's been uh, sabotage. And that is because of the GMO corn and the GMO soybeans. Uh, most people don't realize that the way these, this glyphosate, this uh, herbicide that is put on crops, the way it kills grasses and weeds is actually to cause chelation of eight essential minerals which so happens to be eight essential minerals you and I need, and it, it causes them to chelate, that is, they become unavailable to the plant. So when the herbicide is put on the ground, it will cause starvation in those grasses and weeds, but because of a different gene implant in the, we'll quote, Roundup Ready seed, they'll survive. They're sick, but they'll survive. And when we feed livestock those weakened plants, they in turn have a chelation factor in their gastrointestinal tract and they can't absorb the minerals that they need. Now, because it isn't 100% of their diet, the, uh, the glyphosate resistant plants, they don't die, but they are minerally depleted, otherwise known as a deficiency. Sure, and if we're eating that deficient meat, we don't get the minerals that we're supposed to get. With grass-fed beef, on the other hand, they don't have that, and they will uh, receive from the plants the minerals they need and have a complete complement so that when we eat the meat, we are getting some vital, vital minerals that we absolutely need. Sure. So one of the things that I've seen in working with athletes and rehabbing people is that a lot of times people want to go out and get a multivitamin in the store. They, they mean well, and they go and they say, okay, this has vitamin C, this has everything that I need in it, but then they don't feel any difference and they're not really absorbing it. So a much more effective way would be to get those vitamins, minerals, nutrients from the things we're eating from our actual diet. Excellent point. We don't uh, absorb minerals as minerals per se. If you look at the, uh, the elemental chart, there's minerals and other elements on that chart. We don't absorb pure minerals. We absorb uh, compounds made up of minerals. And there's three different forms of minerals. There's elemental minerals, of which only two to five percent is absorbable in a system. There's chelated minerals, which are uh, usually bound to proteins, and they are about 35 percent absorbable. But then there's colloidal, and those are minerals found in organic composition as in plants, and they're almost 98%, up to 98% absorbable. 
So as you can imagine, if we eat a natural form of a colloidal mineral, we're going to assure that our body is getting what it needs. So one of the things I've been talking about a lot with Iron Will Sports and Fitness and Beyond the Gym is creating the easiest, simplest, fastest shift that yield the biggest results. So let's say a person is eating conventional beef three times a week, and then they want to make a shift, they want to make a change. They start eating organic, grass-fed beef three times a week. They make a simple shift. What do you think the first change or the first feeling that they might notice a difference in from eating that conventional beef to switching to grass-fed organic beef? Well, that's an excellent question as well, because one of the things we have done with taking conventional cattle and putting them in a grass environment, uh, one of the first things we see with mineral uh, adequacy is contentment. Uh, generally, cattle will graze two to four hours in the morning, lay down, and uh, then in the late afternoon, graze once again. Animals that are minerally deficient on poor ground, poor grass, what have you, they'll have a tendency to be up and nervous, and they'll be moving. You'll see the herd dispersed around the pasture. We have a cafeteria mineral program that in case of restoration of soils to its mineral capacity for proper mineralization in plants, we put 13 different choices of minerals out so they can supplement their diet with the grass. And one of the first things we see is content. Those cattle will graze about two hours in the morning, they'll lay down as a group, and they'll just chew their cud, and they're just quiet. They're actually, uh, as far as a nervous system factor, they're uh, about uh, a third of the nervous activity that you see in the herd that's been over the bleeding. Sure. I love that answer, that contentment. I think that's such a great concept. It's one of the things that we see so much in our culture is that people are just eating all the time. Absolutely. They're always hungry. They never satiate it. And I think so much of that is because we're eating this processed food that doesn't have very much nutrients, doesn't have very many vitamins or minerals in it. But it's got a lot of calories, and so you just always feel hungry. And when people are always eating, then they gain weight, but they still never feel satiated. So one of the things I try to tell people is when they switch to a whole food diet, to an organic diet, you have to kind of retrain yourself. You don't have to eat as much because now you're getting vitamins, minerals, nutrients, and they're easily absorbable. So you have that feeling of contentment, that feeling Absolutely. of well-being. Absolutely. So let's recap. Grass-fed organic beef. We have one of the purest sources of protein on the planet. We have good fats that are crucial for brain development, that are crucial for telling your body whether or not to store fat. We have naturally occurring creatine, which is very important for retaining muscle mass as you age. And we have very absorbable minerals that your body can actually use, creating that feeling of contentment, that feeling of well-being or satiety. Does that sound about right? Sounds right to me. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Pleasure to be here. Sure appreciate what you're doing. That's Bill Roberts of 12 Stones Grassland Beef. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here with Iron Will.